involve that small weight that you uh, got earlier on. Um, this is going to be all floor stuff, so you're going to be working your front and back core with these next exercises. But again, no crunches, so let's keep it uh, back friendly, shall we say. So the first thing you're going to do, grab that uh, weight. You're going to lie on your back with the weight just in front of you this way. Legs up at tabletop. You're going to switch legs, moving out and in this way. Bringing your book above your head or whatever weight you're using above your head each time. I could easily use something much heavier than this. This is not a challenge, so I advise all of you to get something heavier than a book because um, this doesn't feel like any weight at all. But uh, so you're going to do 20 of those. And if that's too easy for you, add the extra challenge of in between each extension, curl up. It's not a crunch, it's just a small little curl, if you will, just to add that extra challenge. Okay, after that, after about 20, 30 of those, whatever you're comfortable with, we're gonna do what I like to call penguins. So get your heels nice and far away, keep your legs close together, hands on either side, and you're gonna lift your body up so your shoulder blades are off the ground. Then you're gonna waddle back and forth trying to touch your ankle bones every time you go to the side. So you're basically going side to side this way and your sides of your body is working this way. Okay, after those, so you're gonna do about uh, 30 of those, so 15 touching each leg, okay? After that, you're gonna do what we call bananas. Those are very tough. So don't feel bad if you can't breathe during them because I can't either. We're all with you on that one. So extend yourself and you're gonna start by lifting your legs and then you're gonna switch. Moving into a seesaw motion or a banana. It really works to the lower abs. And again, it's really hard to breathe during that so do your best to try. And then you're gonna switch to the back. So we're gonna work our back core. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna do back bananas now. So you're gonna start in a straight line, bring your legs up, and rock back and forth. Keep your legs close together, ankles touching, and, he and hands grabbed together. This is gonna work your back core as, long as, as well as your bum. After that, we're going to do what I call backward starfishes. Um, so you're going to be working the backs of your legs as well as your back muscles. Um, so you're going to go, um, the first movement is just a back up. So you're moving your back up and down. And then the second movement is your legs in and out while they're off the ground. So putting them together, you're starting all together in a straight line. As soon as your back goes up, your legs are going to go open. So you're this way. Okay, so try 10 to 20 of those, whatever you're more comfortable with. And if it's too hard to keep your arms out this way, then as soon as you open your legs, you're going to open your arms too. And you're just going to keep your body up at that point. You don't have to go up and down. This is what it looks like. So legs and arms up, open, open. Okay, good job today and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.